This is my Kiki. Say hi, Kik. She's very timid. Hi, Kik. She's a two-year-old Konya. I've had her since she was a baby. She's hiding. She's very timid. She's still trying to get used to her surroundings. She's very timid, so it's going to take her a while. Um, I try to bring her in my room, like, often, just to bond with her and get her used to each room. Um, so she's not so scared when we're walking past a room or, you know, I have to bring her in here. Or I want to spend time with her in here. I love to spend time with her. <laughs> she's hiding now. She's not going to come out. And that's my other rainbow lorikeet. His name is Boston. And if you've been following me for a while, you know Boston. He's still good. They don't get along very well. Well, she she's kind of the dominant one, I think, because she's smaller and he's a bit bigger than her. So she's got to kind of mark her territory and let her know who's boss and not seem so vulnerable, I guess. But you can see she's hiding on my back. Good girl, come on. Oh, there she is. Do you pick a boo? Do you say pick a boo? Come on. Oh. Come here, kiss. She loves kisses and cuddles and scratches. Come on. Come on, sweet girl. I'm just putting the beige on just for a bit of color. And this stuff is so beautiful it is my absolute favorite of 2019 so it really just plumps the skin gives it a little bit of um a you know like a natural luminosity um with a tiny bit of color um i've got the lightest shade which is called medium light that's the lightest um it's Kind of like, um, I'd describe it as like a serum, like a skincare serum with a little bit of um, a tint. So it's really beautiful. It's got these like little microsphere balls inside and I'm not sure what they do other than that's the pigment and that's where the color comes from. But see, she likes to tangle up in my hair. Come on, cutie. I'm wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat. This is probably like my fourth one. And that's always a favorite. That's my staple. Um, and this is a new product that I got. It's the Shantikai, um It's like a matte lip. What's it called? Matte Chic. So it's in the lightest color, I believe. I'm not sure. It's called Suzy. So it's like a light pink kind of looks a bit rosy I really like this stuff um, it's really hard for me to find um, lip product that you know these matte kind of colors they're all quite brown on me because I'm really fair so anything that's kind of um, or even taupe or grey. A lot of the pinks in these matte shades are really quite grey in tone. But I really like this one. And it's really just a nice colour that I can wear. You know, it's, it's not too much and it's just perfect. And the other one that I like to top it off with, this is the Shantikai. I love these. Um, brilliant glosses. And this is in the colour Blythe. Um, it's just a really pretty nudie pink with some sparkle. I love the brush. I wish Chanel did brushes for their glosses as well. I feel like you get more product. So this is my makeup bag and I thought I would go through um, what I have inside it. I have a lot of stuff, but what I'm going to do is just go through like my favorite things, things that stand out to me when I kind of 
look inside things that I thought I'd share with you um, in case you're looking for something you know new to try I'm always looking for new things to try um, and so yeah this cosmetic case is from Mimco um, and I will link it down below okay so the first thing I definitely want to talk about if you've been with me for forever you know how much I love the girl and meteorites and that has never changed I just have a different one at the moment which I absolutely love the packaging and this is the birthday candle pearls if you're in Australia you can still get this I believe on catch.com.au they're still selling it um, that's where I got this from sometimes I don't always well actually I don't hardly ever keep up with new collections anymore in the last couple of years um, so if there's anything that catches my fancy and I've missed out on it I will always look on catch.com.au so these birthday pearls are kind of the light pinks um, peach and a pearly color so love this for all over finish um, it is just the best um, another one that I bought uh, this year is a Lancome powder and it just doesn't compare um, It's really overpriced and I, I um, for, for a sort of soft Focus finish. I still prefer um, The Guerlain over these Lancome this Lancome powder uh, Which is the absolute number two Vul de apricot Do prefer the finish of the Guerlain this still gives a very slight focus effect, but it's not as nice, in my opinion, as the um, Golain one, and it's a lot cheaper than this one. This is actually my absolute favorite, aside from the, um, what's it called, Le Beige Water Tint, is the CC Cream. This one's the SPF 30. I absolutely love this stuff. It's just kind of glowy, um, but it dries down. It, it doesn't stay very sticky. Um, and it's got quite a good um, coverage. So I really love this stuff. I recommend it. It's my favorite. And this is in the shade 20 Beige, um, which you can see. It's a light light beige color so if you're like me this is a this would be a good good tone for you so i might just put a little bit on just in the center this just really takes away redness for me um if i don't want heavy makeup looks which uh, as you get older i just it it's not it's not what i prefer anymore so um I love any kind of tinted moisturizer but this is by far my favorite I just wish it didn't have fragrance because I've become quite sensitive around my eyes um, and some days my eyes kind of get a little bit of a wa little bit watery with anything um, makeup even foundations that have fragrance I'll just show you this because I really really don't care for it um, it's the Clarins instant eye reviver I liked it because I saw it on Instagram and it looked pretty and I love the packaging and I I love Clarins some Clarins products but I don't um, they have a lot of um, fragrant oils in their stuff I do like the um, this thing so I, I do have it in my makeup bag just to like do this before I put on any like concealer or even if I just want to like I don't know it just helps depuff so that's why I keep it in here but this is got full of fragrance and it irritates my eyes um, it's the instant eye revive targets fine lines so I wouldn't bother with this but can you say I'm cute can you say mommy loves me can you say, I'm a bossy girl? Can you say, I'm bossy? Can you say, I'm bossy? I like to boss most around. You can see she's still trying to keep an eye on my makeup case down there. You keeping your eye on it? So it doesn't get you. So it doesn't get you. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to, obviously, beauty blender. 
love it love the original this is the only one i've tried in the beauty blender brand so i love it oh this is something that i absolutely adore and my niece loves it too every time she comes over she always wants an eyeshadow look and she loves this one and i have another one that i absolutely love and that's the etude house so what these well we'll start off with the stealer this is the glitter glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow and this is in the color bronzed bell so it is so pretty all over the lid my niece absolutely loves this one i always put it on for her when she's over it is stunning okay so um i like to just put it all over the lid and then like i'll blend some stuff out in the crease or i'll just tap like a little bit on top of an eyeshadow um and this one we also love this is the etude house Oh, it doesn't even say what color it is. I think it's number one. It's the Tia Eyeliner. So I love to put this just on the inner corners or I'll like draw a line of eyeliner and just gives like a really pretty um, sparkle. Okay, another Chanel favorite. This has got to be my favorite foundation and the only one i've worn i don't wear a lot of foundation um but when i do i absolutely love this again the fragrance in it can irritate my eyes so i don't go over my eyes with foundation anymore um this is in the shade 10 beige which is quite pale but pretty love the finish it's like it's called the ultra wear flawless foundations foundation it says it's a luminous matte finish but i guess you could say it's a matte finish but it's not matte not for me it's really pretty but it, it does dry down and it doesn't leave your skin sticky so i guess that's where the matte would come from but it's not dry at all oh, i want to show you something that i really despise <laughs> and it's this chanel mascara Actually, this is the only mascara that I have at the moment. I'm trying to use it up and I actually do not like it at all. Um, it's the Inmitable Intense Mascara. I like the color. It's, it's a brown, number 20. It's very hard to find a, a brown um, mascara in the drugstore. Um, and I love Chanel. I rarely hate a Chanel product. But this I do not like at all. It's first off, it starts out quite dry. I don't know if it's just the tube that I got, um, if it's old or what, but it starts out quite dry. I don't like these really. Um, actually, I've only just discovered through this mascara that I don't like these thin spiky ones. It's actually, it's not the, the length or the, I mean, like the spikes are really short and small and this just does nothing. It's my, I think I'm going to go back to um, my favorite, favorite mascara and it is really expensive, but it is my favorite. Um, I like a natural look and it's a beautiful color. It's the By Terry Terribly um, Mascara. I absolutely love that mascara in the mock. I think it's called Mocha Brown. That is beautiful mascara. I want to really get that again. This is a definite no. Stay away from it. So I've got a favorite brush. This is the Real Techniques 402. I love it for setting um, concealer, um, doing like a little bit of shading or highlighting, or sometimes I like just dust, you know, like bronzer in the crease. Um, it's a really good multitasking brush. Eyebrow pencil. I love another Chanel. I love this so much. It is like, it matches the color of my eyebrow tint perfectly. Um, I have to get my eyebrows tinted and waxed again, but this is the eyebrow pencil, the Stylo Waterproof in 808. The color is perfect. And I love this kind of angled, um, slant shape um, and it's just I find it really easy it lasts a long time and it's got no like ashy or gray tones or taupey tones to it which I despise in um, an eyebrow pencil for blondes um, so 
and the spoolie on the end so I might just brush my eyebrows while I think of it they're getting a little bit uh, out of control so I really love this okay so I just shut the door you could probably still hear Boston in the background I do apologize but it's like having kids like you know, he's, he's upset because she's here with me. So he's trying to get my attention to say, hey, what about Mia? I want to come too. So <laughs> um, I do apologize if you can hear him still, but what can you do? Okay, back to what I was saying, Gerbra, the Steeler um, convertible color. I absolutely love this. Um, I love a good cream. Um, look how pretty that color is, like, it's like a, oh, maybe I put too much. I like to bring it, oh, maybe that wasn't good. I brought it way too far in. It's just such a pretty color, like, okay, I brought it way too far in. Um, and it kind of looks funny. But yeah, I love this um, when I, one once applied properly it is really pretty um very pretty color it's like a bright peachy pink it's kind of now i need to blend that because that looks bizarre okay primer i don't often use primers um the ones i do like now which i never used to like but since um, I'm getting older, like my, you can see the pores a little bit around here, um, sometimes here, and hey, um, and the one that I use is the L'Oreal Base Magic. It's a smoothing primer, and it just fills in the pores. And I only just use a tiny bit. That's I think the trick to these pore primers is that. So that's. A little bit and I like that it's not too like thick and balmy so it's kind of um, I just put it you know I just dab it in just a tiny bit and just to fill in the pores before I put on you know any any kind of makeup that I feel like might make my pores look a little bit it just smooths it out and yeah does a good job at that and it's really quite affordable um i love chemist warehouse they always have you know like half off so you never have to pay full price for those um l'oreal maybelline drugstore brands hey another favorite it's the um lancome eyeshadow and it's called sorbet rose and it's really beautiful, sparkly, baby pink for inner corner highlight. It is perfect. I absolutely love this and my niece loves it too. Um, really beautiful for inner corner. It's the best inner corner highlight. Um, it's not like real metallic. It's more kind of a bit very f like fine glitter sparkle. It's really pretty. And it's quite a soft powder so you have to be careful um like to swatch it. it doesn't pick up very well but if you you know use a wet brush see how gorgeous that is you could even use that as like actually i've never tried it I might try it now as like a highlight i i guess wow yeah see <gasps> that's gorgeous That is beautiful. I'm glad I just thought of that. It is so pretty. I'm going to show you two more things. They're fragrances. And I've decided, uh, well, I was going to do skincare but in this video. But I thought I would do a skincare um, routine dedicated to my favorites. Um, and I usually only put my most of my skincare on at night. So um, I'm going to show you... Um, a proper skincare uh, routine in my bathroom um, and what I love so uh, I've got two more products left their fragrances so the first one is from a niche Australian fragrance house um, that are based in Melbourne and they're called Fort and Manly 
and I discovered these uh, actually late last late 2000 or no mid or sometime in 2018 and I absolutely cannot hey stop eating that go back i i cannot tell you how unique and beautifully put together these fragrances are they are like nothing you've ever smelt before um and it's very very hard for me now when i shop around for fragrances even niche fragrance different niche fragrance brands you know after you know all these years i i used to love tom ford fragrances most of them i don't like anymore i feel like my nose has been ruined now because of these blends nothing compares and they are so beautiful oh it is intoxicating this one's called Fatih Sultan Mehmed um, and beautiful if you like fragrances and if you're always on the lookout for new fragrance um, fragrances you can go to the Fortin Manly website they sell a discovery set pretty cheap they ship um, worldwide um, it's not overpriced and it's really good way to smell these fragrances that's what I did um, I just happened to stumble a across them on a fragrance video and I ordered the discovery set and yeah this is the only full bottle that I have I also tried ordered the new one um, their Murakami this is the latest one that they came out with again nothing like you've ever smelt before so um, if you ever try these let me know they're absolutely beautiful the other fragrance is uh this one and the bottle sucked me in because this bottle is so divine this has got uh like a beautiful pearlescent shimmer in it it doesn't really give off much of a shimmer which is good i don't care for that but so beautiful look at this bottle and um i can compare the scent to um it's very similar actually to perfumes de mali delina i love that one and this is quite similar it's very floral um it's got a little bit of that sourness to it um, i don't know if it's got rhubarb in it delina has rhubarb in it and it kind of can pull a little bit sour um this is kind of got that similar it's very floral and then it's got that sourness to it um but yeah really pretty summer fragrance feminine it's not unique but it's pretty and i love the bottle so okay i think that's it isn't it kiss is that kiss do you want to give a kiss, kiss. all righty guys um i hope you enjoyed that um stay tuned i'm gonna do a skincare video and um i'll take you to my bathroom and i'll, I'll show you what i what i use and what i love and um so thank you for watching. Thanks for having us and we'll speak to you later. Bye.